you guys. This is Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania's worst hood. Uh, he's gonna take a stroll through there and we're gonna uh, react to it. So let's check it out. Okay, got dudes slumped out. And guys, where I lived, there's also dudes slumped out as well, though, man. It's a common thing in so many cities, probably every every big city in, in the USA, right, guys? There's a homeless population. There's a drug-addicted population. I, I used to be homeless and drug-addicted, drug so I know a little bit about that, guys. Not the most proud of me being doing that. Uh, me being homeless and drug-addicted, but it was me, guys, not gonna lie. Got the trash bags. Full of like, you know, stuff. I don't know, guys. This is like a one-way street, guys. And yeah, they're just ch chilling, doing their business, and this guy, this YouTuber is pulling up. And, uh, you know, they, they, <laughs> you know what I mean? They, like, yo, yo. When, when you're, when you're a pedestrian like that, and there's a car pulling up, it's kind of scary, you know what I mean? There's huge armored vehicles and you're uh just chilling there like walking and it, you know we're so much tangible compared to uh giant vehicles right guys i got police right there guys just chilling didn't expect police to be there, guys. This is, uh, worst parts at night. Guys, I've never seen... Guys, I wish I lived in the, this part of, like, the city like this, guys. That would be cool. That would be cool. Because, you know, where I live, suburbs, guys, the, the night... There's no... There's not many night, like, spots for, for me to, like, be at and, like, chill. It, it was, it was kind of like a... Boring for me guys, you know, no, no, no booming nightlife They got the 24-7 convenience stores and stuff man, and man, I, I don't I don't Yeah, I wish it was a little bit more cleaner, though, you know? It would make the city look better, right? They should hire me. They should hire me as cleaner, man. Do, do, do. Yeah, even the park, guys. But yeah, where I live, I'll walk like a mile, and I'll see no one, just mostly cars, like... Occasionally just cars going to like the from their work and stuff. I would be scared because you know there's a high volume of uh I don't know stuff going on, bro. Not not so much alone time there guys, like it'd be hard to just be alone. Yeah, where I live, there's so many, like, fields and stuff. You can, like, like just chill in and no one would really bother you guys. Here, it doesn't look like this. You, you'd be stuck around everybody at the... At the... It's like he blurted out something right here. I don't know what... Probably some, like, paraphernalia or something. Yeah, don't really see no tents or anything, guys. I haven't seen a single tent. Yeah, you'd just be, like, stuck in, like, a large city, guys. Like, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's something different, for sure. 
Kind of scary, man. And it only lived a little bit in a large city like this. And it was fun, but it had its downsides as well. But it would be a good place to start a business, like as, you know, I don't know, like selling drinks or whatever. I don't know, guys. There's so many, so much uh, foot traffic going on here. Like selling drinks on a hot summer day, that'd be awesome. You, you see some doing that by like the uh, beach and stuff. Not sure if that'd do so well over here because there's so many convenience stores, right, guys? But yeah, it definitely gives that you know lonely, like lone, like town aesthetic kind of vibe, right, guys? Not gonna lie. Yo, my mic is fixed, guys. Wow, nice, nice. Before it was like a uh, desynchronized man. Yeah, look at all that trash. It'll be. I used to rummage through like uh, so much stuff, like uh, you know, dumpsters and stuff, and I find like really valuable stuff in there, guys. You could resell it, like you could resell it for a, quite a bit, but, but I didn't have like nowhere to put uh, like uh, you know, I didn't have a home to put it in, so I could like sell it on eBay or something, guys. So I just left it there for the most part. Yeah, this is not the not the most ideal situation. Prefer to be like would like to have a roof over your head, you know what I mean? Back when I was homeless, the police would just pull up and arrest me because I was like the only one like just walking around or whatever back then. But but here in this situation, it'll be uh, you know a lot harder to get arrested because you know I don't know they just pull up and arrest you guys like that'd be terrible. But it have it has happened to me before when I was just doing drugs. I was just walking, guys, and they pu they pulled up and arrested me. It is a bad experience for. No, I wasn't really hurting anyone. No, I was just doing drugs. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how it affects, you know, trying to get money, like, you know, from generous uh, people that help you. Because there's, like, a large homeless population, a pretty large homeless population here, right, guys? You know what I mean? Like, there's less money to go around to us, uh, it seems, there. Hey, it seems pretty peaceful, right, guys? Like, nothing super bad going on. Got, like, a tent set up, guys. The, U the mini U-Haul. You reckon you could just like live in your car at that point, right? And they got like a flag right there as well. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool.
You don't really see fighting or anything, guys, and that's good, right? Seems pretty peaceful, but, you know, really dirty as well. I hope my experience is fairly the same as well, guys, but I, I did, like, piss off some other homeless folk and they kind of tried to hurt me. And some did, actually. They're underneath the bridge. This would be a good place to take cover during like the summer, right guys? Yeah, it definitely does give a more modern feel with all these, uh, you know, which is business after business around like really tall buildings Something I don't really have where I live Yeah, and let me know what you think of this uh, place here, guys. Is it good? Is it bad? It doesn't look the best. Well, I finally see like a, a my first en encampment here, guys. Like first encampment ever. Yeah, guys, that's um that's a video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Check out hoods and haulers in the description. Matthew guy to respect pulling the 7-Eleven graveyard shift in that neighborhood. Oh yeah, for sure, bro. Live in Poland and never seen everything anything like this worst parts. Oops. Worst parts. The worst cities never looked like this. Even in con con is in years. I live in El Salvador and it's nowhere near as bad as this. Lots of people are poor but they still have their dignity. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out everyone.